In this final video, we're going to take all the pieces that we use to create a chatbot and we're going to de deploy that chatbot um, as an application within Microsoft Teams. Okay, so uh, just to recap what we've done to this point, we created a uh, static website in video one. This is what we're, what we're going to use to hold the HTML and JavaScript for our chatbot. Uh, we then created an app in Lewis, and with this we created our intents so that we could determine what our users are asking for. So we've got an intent for a greeting, an intent for none, meaning they don't the bot doesn't understand what they're asking, and then we created an intent called who should attend. Uh, and I should point out at this point we've really just scratched the surface surface with Lewis. You can do things with phrases and patterns and they have this new feature called pre-built domains which will import a bunch of intents for you automatically based upon what kind of uh, uh, industry that you're in or what kind of bot you're wanting to create. So a lot more to check out with Lewis. Uh, this is just an introduction to Lewis. We also have a SharePoint list and this SharePoint list contains the actual response to the Q&A bot whenever Lewis determines the intent. So if the intent was a greeting, it's going to query the SharePoint list and say, hey, give me the content you want to display when someone wants a greeting. Uh, we then have a logic app. And with this logic app, what we're doing is we are taking that intent that we received from Lewis, we're passing that intent to SharePoint and querying that list by that intent getting the response from the list and sending that response out uh, back to our script so we can display it to the user. To quickly show you the script again, uh, we're using jQuery. Um, and I've also tweaked this script a little bit from the last video to give it a little more styling so it doesn't look quite as bland. So I've got some different stylings for the questions and the responses. Um, we have a text box asking the person what they need and then we've got a div that's going to restore the response from the bot. Uh, when the user presses enter on the query text field, it is going to take that query. It is going to send that query to Lewis, where Lewis is going to return an intent. We are then going to call into that logic app with that intent to get the actual response that came from the SharePoint list. And then we are going to display that response within the chat window. Okay, so if we come over to our static website, and we type in a question or we can say hello you can see it's going to respond okay and that's all this stuff working together I can also ask it uh, who should attend and you can see I added a little more styling from the previous version so now it keeps all the conversation going Add a little hillbilly icon uh, to stay consistent with the theme okay so what we want to do now is we want to deploy this as an application into teams and the easiest thing we could do is we could just take this URL, come over into Teams, come to a channel in Teams, and just add a tab uh, where we give it a link to the website. So we could just paste the link in here. We'll call it Hillbilly Chat and save that. And this is fine and this works and the, the chatbot works in here. I can just type in hello and you can see all that stuff is working fine, although I spelled hello wrong. So, so the, the bot works as a tab, so you could do that immediately. But what we can also do in Teams is we can add it as a static tab, as actually an application in Teams. And if we do that, we can then use the Microsoft Teams JavaScript libraries to actually get the uh, Teams context, where we can start looking at um, creating other functionality to do uh, other cool stuff in the application. So let's go ahead uh, and get that set up. So to do that, I'm going to click on the ellipsis over here and I'm going to go to our App Studio. If you don't have the App Studio installed, you can go to the store and install it. Uh, I've already got it installed though. And I'm going to go to the Manifest Editor and I'm going to create a new application. This is going to ask us for some app details and I'm just going to put in some information here. We'll call it the Hillbilly Chatbot and just fill it fill the information, generate an ID, package name, let's just copy that in 1.0. You can, of course, make this whatever you want to be. Short description, just say Hillbilly Chatbot. Developer information, it needs a valid, valid website. Sorry, let's just type in some stuff here. Uh, 
and some other URLs. So we could also upload icons if we wanted to, and we could set uh, an accent color. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to set those uh, set those entries. Then under the capabilities, we want to click on tabs, and we are going to add a personal tab. Uh, in order to create a team tab, you'd have to have a configuration page as well, and we don't have a configuration page yet, so we're just going to add a personal tab. We'll call this, the, again, the Hillbilly Chatbot Entity ID. We'll call it Hillbilly Chatbot, and then the URL. So we can get our URL, and then we can add that, and we can save it. Okay, so then we can now come down here to the Test and Distribute under finish and we can install that. So let's install that app. And now if you look at your personal apps on the left hand side here under the ellipsis you will see a link for the Hillbilly chatbot. So we can click on that and here is our bot. Okay, so now that we've actually created this bot as an application in Teams, we can now have access to the Teams context to, to start to really evolve the, the uh, functionality of our chatbot to work in Teams. But let's just add some simple functionality to get you guys started, and I'll let you worry about seeing how cool you can make it later. So if we come back into our script, we need to add a reference to the Teams JavaScript file. And I do have links in the blog post that takes you through uh, where to go to get the links for the Teams API, as well as uh, some documentation to do more stuff with the API. So I've, I've now added the, the JavaScript API for Teams. And the next thing I need to do is I need to uh, initialize Microsoft Teams and get the context for it. Okay, so here in my script, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to initialize Microsoft Teams and then I'm going to get the context of Microsoft Teams and store it into our variable here called Microsoft Teams context. Uh, now with that, let's do something really simple. Let's say that uh, we don't want people to use our bot unless they're in Teams. You know, this is maybe a, a really easy way to, to make sure that users aren't using the bot that shouldn't be using it. You know, so it's a, a really quick little thing. So here in our uh, query text, whenever they press enter in the query, let's just do a quick check. And let's say, if the Teams context doesn't exist, it means we're not running in Microsoft Teams. And then we'll post a response to the person saying, hey, you can't use the bot, it's restricted to Teams, and then return them out of it. So it stops from using the bot, okay? So what we've done again, we've referenced the, the Teams API, we've initialized the Teams context, we've got, we initialized Microsoft Teams, we've gotten the context for it, and then we are checking to see if that context exists, meaning we're running inside of Teams. Again, click on the link in the blog post for the API to look at all the stuff you can do with the API uh, and, and go do something cool with it. So let's save this file. Let's go back to our static website, click on the web container and re-upload our default HTML file. Go ahead and click on the overwrite checkbox and upload that. So now if I come back to the bot in the web browser and I reload the page and I type in a question or a greeting, let's type in hello, it says, hey, this bot, the use of this bot is restricted to Teams. So it's, it's letting me know that I, I can't use this bot uh, outside of Teams. So if I come into Teams and we refresh our bot here, it should still work because we now know the context that we're running within Teams. So if I come in here and say hello, I get a response, right? So the, the app is now aware of Microsoft Teams. It knows if we're running in Teams or not. Uh, there's also some other items we can get access to uh, within the context of Teams. So again, go dig into that, go research that. But uh, there you have it. So we've we've created a very simple bot that will do Q&A stuff. It is now deployed in Teams as a Teams application. Um, and I'll, tr I'll trust you guys to do something cool with it. So hope you learned something. I know I did. It was fun to play with the new technologies, and I'll see you next time.